Welcome to UK Paranormal Search for an extraordinary night of mystery and exploration as we embark on my first ever paranormal investigation at the infamous 30 Years Drive. Nestled in the heart of the United Kingdom, this house has earned its reputation as one of the most haunted in all of Europe, bearing witness to some of the most chilling paranormal activities in history. So come with me as we venture inside 30 Years Drive. This ominous residence is no stranger to the paranormal, having been home to one of the most violent poltergeists ever recorded, the notorious Black Monk, known by the name of Fred. The very mention of Fred sends shivers down the spines of those familiar with the dark tales surrounding 30 East Drive. His presence has left a mark on this dwelling, making it a focal point for paranormal enthusiasts and investigators seeking to unravel the mysteries that lie within these walls. Pritchard's family arrival at number 30 East Drive marked the beginning of a series of inexplicable and unsettling events that will forever tie their names to paranormal history. Jean, Joe, Philip and Diane Pritchard moved into this seemingly ordinary house in Pontefract in August 1966, blissfully unaware that their new home will soon become the epicentre of one of the most notorious haunting cases in the United Kingdom. In the subsequent chapters of The Haunting Tale, the Pritchards would enjoy a barrage of paranormal activity, from mysterious noises to levitating objects, and also a terrifying and violent poltergeist encounter. The events at 30 East Drive will forever cement its stature as one of the most haunted houses in Europe and a focal point for those fascinated by the mysteries of the supernatural. The past hauntings at 30 East Drive have demonstrated a mysterious and malevolent character as the tea dispenser activated on its own, causing dried tea to cascade onto the work surface. Lights flickered, defying the logic of the electrical systems, and plants leaped out of their pots, defying gravity and landing ominously on the stairs. The supernatural presence seemed to revel in chaos as cupboards shut violently, creating an unsettling atmosphere within the household. The paranormal activity escalated further, with photographs being slashed by an unseen force, leaving behind a trail of mysterious destruction. The list of anomalies continued to grow with levitating and thrown objects becoming an irregular occurrence. Even a solid oak sideboard, a substantial and weighty piece of furniture, defied the laws of physics by levitating and being thrown so across guys, the room. So we're on. We're here. We're here. Yay! Live. <laughs> oh my god. Just come out of makeup. <laughs> Took a while. It's so, all our first time here, isn't it? it None is. of us have been here before. Not no one person yeah. has been here, so we're just gonna make it up as we go along. Make it up as we go along, basically. <laughs> Nothing new there then, is there? <coughs> so we've got Gary, we've got Amy, we've got John in the corner, Hello. and myself. All wondering what to do and sitting here on this live thing going, <laughs> You start! No, you start! No, you start! We've all been for a wee, so hopefully we won't be disturbing you. We should have got your coffee's there. Your coffee's there. Thank you. Not there's as much in it, so we'll be popping out later for another group, probably. So, what's your plans with the live cam tonight then, Phil? You're going to do a little bit in here, aren't we, for the first bit, just the four of us yeah, sitting down just, having a chat? Just going to spend a little bit of time in here, just. We're just going to act normal, really. I said we can act well, normal, but we're just going to act normal. Um, what we're going to do then, we're going to start splitting up. We might set the camera up on the staircase at some point, but if anybody wants us to do anything, <coughs> or if anybody wants us to go off and do a long vigil, we can set the live cam with us as well. So just let us know in the comment section what you want us to do. And if anybody's watching and you've been here before, just let us know your stories of... 30 years drive. We, I've been here since 7 o'clock. Yeah. Nothing, well, nothing's happened up to now. Well, 
Well, saying that, yes, I forgot well, about that. Was that you just being a I was doing or was it something? I was doing, I might put this in the video, but I was doing a little bit of an intro on the staircase with the main camera, and I was just getting through the second script, wasn't I? Yeah. And my voice just went. I, I, I feel, felt like it was going to go, and it just felt like something stopped me from talking. I just stopped, didn't I, John? Yeah. He killed himself laughing. Yeah. He's going to have to bleep that bit out if it does go on Facebook. Yeah, because I did swear, because I was at the bottom of the script, but yeah. uh, we might put it in the video, maybe. And we're spoiled because there's heating. And there's heating. It's, God, it's so warm, it's nice. Lovely. It's cosy. As I was doing the pre-interview introduction on the camera, this happened to me on the staircase. Right, I'm violent poltergeist. The yeah, voice is gone. <laughs> All right. What's happened? The voice just went voice just went halfway through that here it go. Yeah. It just stop. <laughs> We've got Amy with us that Amy is a little bit sensitive, aren't you? Yeah, I would consider myself to be a little bit sensitive. Um I've been in a couple of different locations now where I've picked up on various things and yeah, I'm hoping that maybe I can pick up on something tonight. I've tried not to read into what other people have said too much and just see what I get from my own experiences, really. Because you, when you came in, you said that downstairs you felt, um, you felt like there was a bit of energy downstairs, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, from when I first walked into the front door, I did feel like um, it was quite, like the air was quite mm. static, if you will. Um, but when I went upstairs, it felt like everything flat. calmed down flat, totally flat. I do at the moment feel like it's quite calm, but I do feel like there's the potential to, yeah. for it to early ramp days, up a little it? bit. Yeah, it's quite early on yet. So basically, it, you, you feel like it's flat at the moment, don't you? Yeah. But hopefully yeah. things will change, as I say. It's, it, you know, this channel... <coughs> will be... Okay, we've gone into night vision now here at 30 East Drive. We've just done a two and a half hour live feed, so if you want to go back and have a look at that first, uh, please do so. So I say we've got totally into night vision now. We're starting the investigation upstairs and we're going to start in the little room which is Diane's room. We'll put a little, couple of cat balls on the floor. There's one in the parents' room and one just behind me which I'll probably end up standing on. Sorry, but sorry, Gary. But uh, we'll see what happens. Um, everyone's gone a little bit more nervous now. I feel absolutely fine. John feels absolutely fine. Amy, you feel totally different I now, don't you? I feel totally different now. I feel really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. I don't feel as bad now as other people feel. When I was on my own, it felt a bit... You felt nervous too, didn't you, once you come upstairs? On my own. But it is quite black. I'm you presuming, John, you feel absolutely fine like myself. I'm fine. Just yeah. nice and warm by the radiator. Yeah, so... Let's say, Amy, if you do feel uncomfortable, yeah, thank you, Phil. I'll let you know. Let us know, okay? And, of course, no, thank you. Don't, I don't need to push it, okay? Okay, thank you. That was my foot, so I can't just try and stand perfectly still. It is quite difficult. Does it, can you sit difficult. on that box? There's a box just to your left. Just look behind me on the night vision. That's the toilet door. I won't point the camera now. I'll just look behind me. It's pitch black. And I mean black. No street lamps. No, no, there's no nothing. street lamp coming through that window. It's hardly any lights at all. The other room's worse. Yeah. But it is dark up here. So we'll see if anything changes now we've gone into night vision. Let's say if you haven't watched the live feed, go ahead and watch that. It's quite interesting. Quite funny. And quite funny in parts as well, so. We're going to be serious. Well, I know we were serious before, but this is. The investigation. Proper investigation now that we've started. So many spirits at 30 East Drive. We've been in the house now since about 7 o'clock. Our energies have probably built up for you. If you feel like you want to, come and share the space with us. They say we come with respect. We don't intend to trap you or change anything. Sorry. We're joining you in your space now. We had our time before with the light on. The lights have gone off. So this is your space and your time. You okay, Amy? Yeah. You feel a bit sicky? A little bit. I felt a bit sicky then. That's really? Why, that's why I undid my coat, but... A little sick. A little bit sick. Yeah. That's unlike you, Gary, to feel sick. So, so spirits, if you're near Amy 
uh, Gary and you're making them feel a little bit unwell, can you take that off them? Perhaps try and make me feel unwell? So we could oh, since you come up here, Gary? Yeah. That's why I had to take my coat, because it was like... <sighs> if that is you doing something to them, thank you. Could you try and do something different, please? Maybe move these curtains? Maybe make a noise? There's marbles on that table. Push them off. There's some balls in the hallway. And the, the other bedroom, maybe you could make those light up for us. Touch one of us. We're, we're vulnerable now. It's dark. I've got my back to you on the landing. You want to come and touch me or push me? And come forward and do it. Move the marbles that are scattered all around East Drive. Left marbles everywhere. Go and move one of them. If different spirits have come out because it's a different time of day, just reintroduce ourselves again. My name's John. My name's Amy. My name's Gary. My name is Phil. As we say, we've travelled some distance to come and share some time with you. Gary, you look really uncomfortable. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm no, fine. seriously. I just felt a bit. I just felt, no, I'm fine. How, I just felt a bit sick. How do you feel now? A little bit. I'm okay. I'm okay. Amy. That um, that really intense fear that I've just had for like probably the past twenty minutes, half an hour, seems to be lifting a little bit. Yeah, I actually, I feel a little bit calmer now. Actually. Weird, isn't it? Yeah. Tea, but no, really I felt really tense, like quite terrified, but I feel like I've calmed down. I feel a bit safer now. You've got to know us now, spirits. We're not here to harm you. We just want to know you're there. You okay, John? Yeah, I'm fine. Mate. Amy read some passages from the Bible before. And we recited the Lord's Prayer. How did that make you feel? Did that anger you? Did it comfort you? We've noticed there are several copies of the Bible downstairs and I've seen from pictures downstairs that you've moved the Bible on previous occasions. Is there anything in here that you could move? Come and touch one of us, pull our clothes, blow in our ear. I heard a noise behind me. I heard I something heard behind me. I don't know what it was. Um, it's not yeah, something like noise, towards the bathroom bed, area. It? No, I've not moved. Come on, spirits, we're in your space now. This is your home. How does it make you feel having four people that you you know you don't know just being in your house? Does that make you feel angry? Do you feel safer with us here? If you just pull the trigger on the front, it'll take the photo. It could just be the central heating again. Mm -hmm. I hate that though. Yeah. Hello? Right, so Spirit, I'm going to share something with the group now that I haven't actually mentioned at all during the evening. Um, is that earlier on when I was sat in Philip's room on my own, I did notice that I keep getting sort of a pain that like radiates from like my knee up to my thigh on this particular leg. Um, and I felt it earlier on in Philip's room and now I'm sat here again. I've now got that same pain, so if that's you that's affecting my leg and making it feel that way, can you make it worse, affect the other leg? Affect someone else? Take this pain from my leg and put it, put it into somebody else.
See again, I thought I heard that smoke alarm bleep noise. Did you? Mm. I didn't hear it. No. <clears throat> Come on, spirits. Come and join us. Come on, spirits. We brought these marbles for you. Can you move them? Knock them off the table. There's a gentleman with us tonight that died in the bathroom. Died on the bathroom floor. Are you here? What's the matter? Hi. What? What's the matter? You sure? Yeah. Just. What? Just like. I just keep hearing a young girl just screaming. A girl? Yeah. Is that you that Amy can hear? Is, it, is this your room? That was me, sorry. Do you want to take a minute? No, I'm alright. I am okay. It's like kind of like coming and going. What? Do you know. You say you hear somebody screaming, can you do you know anything more about it or um, to be honest, it is just it just feels that intense that it just feel like I can't make any sense of it. So just I'm just gonna sit with that for a minute if that's okay and just see if I can At the end of the day, Amy's just remember it's not really it's not like anything's gonna harm you, okay? Thank you. You're grounded and protected, so yeah. you'll be fine, okay? I'm just going to sit with that in a minute and see if I can get anything else from it. There's a rocking horse in the corner just behind the door. Can you make that move? Was that your rocking horse? Any spirits here who've played on that rocking horse in the past? It's just round to your right, Phil. Use our energy. We gladly offer it to you. Make one of the toys move. Knock against them. Was it good riding on the rocking horse? Did you enjoy it? Any toy over there in particular that you liked the most? Use our energy. We give it willingly. Is that you on the picture? If I tap, can you tap back? I just feel like I don't, don't feel like, I don't, I don't feel tired, I feel a little bit drained of energy, I yeah. just feel like I haven't got, got it in me to like call out okay. and get involved, I'm just taking it all in, if that's okay with you guys. Well, I'm being honest, and you know me, I'm, I think it was here on my own, I don't think I'll come up here and sleep. <laughs> no, like, no so I don't, and that's, that's, that's so coming from me. Not because I'm, not because anything's happened or... But I'd be quite apprehensive to be. Wouldn't you, John? Or not? We haven't got streetlights in the back of us or anything, have we? It's not no, that no, dark. No, we haven't, it but it just it feels like all the light has been sucked. We've done now, we've just come into the. Uh, this is the parents' room we're in now, so we're going to spend a little time in here and then we'll go into Philip's room. Make you angry as being here? Apparently, you're not very nice. How does it feel to have four of us sharing your space? If you do something, we might move. Or are you quite happy just sitting there watching us? You just moved your hand back. Hand to pan? Hmm? Just on that. This is a shadow just gone across that wall. You can move your hand. It's on, no, it's on that. Is that it? No. It was almost like you... Like that. I don't think you can move up. Is that you showing yourself? Can you show yourself again, please? I've, 
It looked like you'd moved your hand and you know just a little bit of light that's reflected that's coming out of your Probably. viewing screen. Possibly. Yeah. Are there any children here? What? Don't know. Car light, on it. Car light? Yeah. yeah, there was a light patch, wasn't there? Yeah. Was that the heating that was rattling before? I don't know, but I've never heard that you made that much noise. No. It's like a da 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 If there's anyone in here who's just made a noise, could you possibly do it again? Show us that you know that we're here. We appreciate it if you've made those noises. Could you just give us one more go with that, please? Something similar to that. Got a really itchy ear. You are, John. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scratch it, mate. I have. <laughs> See if it comes back. You're probably going to try. Yeah. Mine, I don't know. What? Right, I'm following, like, I'm good, good, good. You, you just heard Amy doing the same. What, you thought it was going to be? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's absolutely wiped me out. I don't think I've been so quiet all night. You don't like, I just think you've been up all day, Ames. No, because I don't feel tired, if you will. Mm. You can still be hitting you up, can not Yeah, maybe. I just, I don't feel tired as such. I just... How do you, do you feel comfortable? No. No, I don't Not feel like you did before. No, no. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel frightened enough to the point where I want to run. Mm. But if you guys were to leave this room now, I would run right after you. Yeah, it's I would it's not. Different yeah. But I'm not at the moment picking anything up. What I was feel that? Like, like a rattle? Yeah, yes. I heard like a What bell. was that? Like a kid's rattle. No, that was, that was weird. I yeah, heard that. Rattle. What was it? If that was you, Spirit, can you do that again, please? Someone's rattled, someone's rattling. Sounds like, you know that bell that... Yeah. That Where's weird. that bell? It's on the dresser. No, there. it wasn't like, yeah, I know what you mean, but that was no, weird. No, it was like a... That was a weird sound. Did you hear that, John? I didn't hear anything. Oh, that was weird. That was like something for the... Like a dog collar, you know, the little bell. Yes, you know, like yeah. something getting all the dog collar and really shaking it. That, that came from that wardrobe, I thought. Is that you? Can you do it again, please? That was a weird sound, man. That was weird. You start to show yourself, because we're not here to harm you. You must know that by now. Where did you think it came from, Amy? It sounded like the bed I area. I thought it came from, like, over where John is. So I thought it came from the side of you. No, it sounded over there. And John didn't move. Towards John. I'm sort of just waiting outside, or just... Just not joining us in the room. I just feel like you're watching us from a distance at the moment. So we're going to head into Philip's room now and I invite you to come in and join us in there, please. Just say about the smell again because I'm not sure if I was recording. So just in case I didn't get it on camera. Just okay, so we've just come out of um, Jean and Joe's room um, and both me and Phil walked into the hallway and immediately sort of said to each other, <laughs> you know, can you... Can you smell that? And we both said it's like the smell of like an old man. It smelled musty. Yeah, um, I smell <clears throat> Yeah, and then Gary also agreed once he'd followed us out. And then the smell has just completely disappeared now. I looked at you now. straight away, John. You got goosebumps. John's got yeah. goosebumps. I got, I felt a definite chill down. But it's just gone, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah, it was like the air sort of went cold around us, like round our legs. Done one again, hasn't he? He's gone again. It's about landings, but. Every time I go on the landing, I always feel different. <laughs> yeah. What did we um, What did we come up with before? Why did we say about landings? What was it? It was. Um, I don't know. I don't because it's, it's like a passing place, isn't it? Yeah. Every, a, anyone who's on here or in the building go through different rooms. It's going to be moving through the different rooms. Yeah. So maybe there's like a convergence of the spirit on the on the landings, which is why they're sometimes quite active. Yeah. The spirits passing to and from all the different rooms in the house. But I, I can't smell anything. No. No, I couldn't I smell anything when you came off, but I just felt cold. You couldn't smell it off? No. Could you, could you not? Oh, did, you still, did you smell it? I smelled yeah. it, yeah. It's like a musty, closed 
like yeah, yeah it's like an old man's like restaurant old man, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. i don't know i couldn't say it was like it was like a mixture of like sweat and tobacco yeah. and like yeah, must just, just, and just, just old like, just old that's me no it's not <laughs> <laughs> um what we're going to do now we're going to go into philip's room now as i said on the live video apparently even though things happened in diane's room philip's room is the one apparently where every Body says he's more active, so we're going to go in there now and see if anything happens. Right, well, we're back again in Philip's room. I was in here alone earlier and I felt absolutely nothing in here, so I've brought three men with me as well now. So why don't you come in and show us what, what you've got? What's that? The tickets are central heat, but what's the hook? Can anyone hear a hook? I think that's a boiler, isn't it? Yeah. Sure. I still think it's coming from the landing to me. Listen. We're jumping the boiler door, I think. Stop. If I was going, this is me, and I'll, I'm not psychic at, at all. But if I was going, John, I'll that be, light's just been back there again. Well, I've not moved. I did that. That's it. No, that light's just gone from the top down to the bottom of the bed again. Weird, that, isn't it? Can I just show my top? If I, can you just turn, turn around? Can I just say though? Yeah. If I was going off my gut instinct, and I'm not psychic, I'd say. Whatever's here, if there is anything here tonight, it's the person who died in the bathroom. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. We'll and, go with and then we had that smell of that old man. I just keep thinking of the old man in the bathroom lying on the floor. I feel blocked. That's how I feel. I don't know if I've ever really walked in somewhere and not had anything it's like this draining of my energy and i just i just feel blocked and i don't know if that's me blocking myself off from it because i feel like it could be potentially dangerous or oh my god john since i talked about that old man that smells here again wow can you smell it hey yeah i can yeah yeah maybe he is yeah yeah you if you're the old man who died in the bathroom, can you, is that you making a light in Philip's room? Do we need to be aware of anything in this, in this house? If you are, if we do, can you please now knock twice? Cold draft on my hand. Right, so, Phil's picking you up, and I'm the one that's supposed to be sensitive here. So I'm going to go in the bathroom. I think that might be me that sat on. I don't know which bathroom it was. So, ooh, that's gone a bit cold there. Yeah, right. <gasps> Shit! What? That's freezing. Is it? Yeah. I just got like a breeze across the side of my arm just as I stepped there. See, I think this is the bathroom in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was, what? It's every time I go to walk in the bathroom this there, this... I just feel really, really, really cold. Well, in the film, but even though this wasn't the actual bathroom they used, because I think they used the studio in the film, but that was the mirror, or the in the film anyway, where yeah. she was washing her hands and that face came at the back of her. See, I've not But that, the... I don't think the film was actually... Even though they used the house, I don't think it was actually filmed in the house. No. That makes sense. But it's based on true events, isn't it? But true, yeah. I just feel like this arm and this hand's gone really, really cold here, just as I'm standing in this spot. And needles, yeah, and it's the same side that I keep getting the pain in my leg as well. If you're the man who died in the bathroom, can you not like this twice, please? Just so as we know it's you. Please knock back. With the utmost of respect, I'm asking you to knock back for me tonight. Knock twice, please. Nobody ever 
not do. Yeah. John, did you move on that bed there? I haven't moved, however, I have just heard the radiator click. Oh, okay. Can I try and come in that bathroom oh, again with you, Phil? Do you want me to stay with yeah, you, Roger? Yeah, please. Just because it's just because every time I sort okay, of Okay, just watch you don't bang into this shower head because okay. it's sticking up. Go on with you, you hey. Can you feel, can, right, can no, you... No, I can't. Can you, you feel you that guys, temperature drop? Not really, you? Amy, no. No, no I'll be honest. Yeah, it it is. Yeah, can I? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's dropped. It's 18. Oh, oh, it's all right. It's dropped by two degrees in here. So if that's you changing the temperature in here, could you please make it warmer for me? Come on, warm me up. I've done roasting. You put your hand on the mirror so you can see the difference in the temperature. I've got so hot. I bet I'm yeah. freezing. I got really warm. Come on, spirit, just warm it up. Just a little bit for us. <gasps> what? Are you getting that? It's just gone from 18.1 to like 18.5. Come on, make it go to 19. Go on, let's have it to 19 degrees. Just warm it up for us just a little bit. Come on, I'm freezing in here. You still cold? Yeah. I'm going to step back onto... Instant change on the landing. I but you'd expect it to be the same temperature as everywhere else. Right? Well, considering the door is open yeah. and it's two degrees difference from like here to there. Yeah. It's not really, I wouldn't really call it a big drop though, to be fair. If you're talking six or eight degrees. Yeah. Um, I just want to get this light. Where, where did you see it now? Sorry, John. It goes from there. Down to there. Oh, well, that would be. And the first time it was a distinct line. The second time it wasn't as distinct. A little bit more blurred. Yeah, I could sleep in it now. Yeah, I could. The smell was really delaying me because I'd just been outside now. I can't smell Can you it. not smell it? Because I thought now? maybe because I went into Philip's room and come back because I hadn't been on that area for a yeah. while, I thought I might smell it again. I can't smell if it. If it was something that, that was, was like really, maybe on the landing. That was really, really pungent. I have to think. It was. To me, that was quite interesting, to be honest. I like smells, you see. And I thought when I walked in here, this place would smell musty, but it didn't, did it? No, no but that was definitely no, but musty. but that one that was, was definitely yeah. musty. Why don't we confuse it? Why don't two of us go downstairs and two stay upstairs? Okay. Do you know what's weird though? I'm not saying it's weird, but I just come out of that room. I've stood in exact same places where you did before. Have you just turned around with the camera, Phil? Where did are you? Here. I did that. That's it. There's just been a big white light that's just moved across. That wouldn't have been my camera, John. No. Pardon? There was one at the front here at the same time as you said it, but I don't know I how don't that shines through. I don't think you could see it through that, those curtains on the landing. No, because there was literally a big white. I'm lying on the bed now with, the, by, with my head by the chair at the top of the bed and a big, it's like a line of white light. Yeah, that's what we saw. That's weird. The, it it's just, just it's like, yeah, yeah. like lines almost. Yeah, it's just gone from the, like the top head of the bed up in the top corner of the ceiling, top of the wall, to the bottom of the, uh, where it joins the ceiling, across, it was like a big white line. Weird, that's all. Is that weird to you? 
Yeah, I, I, I can't work out what it'd be. No, because the curtains wouldn't be that bright for the curtains, would it? No. Weird. But as I was saying before, to you, sorry, I'm just trying to pick a, talk to everyone. Um, when you came out of the room and you had goosebumps, I was stood here where you was, Gary. Yeah. And I got goosebumps and I just looked above me and guess what's above us? The hatch. The hatch. Why is he meant to do something with the hatch? No idea. Weird. <laughs> Maybe he's hiding in the loft. Do you hear that, John? Where is the hatch? Is it between yeah, the yeah, two where, bedrooms? Do you know where Gary got goosebumps? Between the two bedrooms? Yeah. And I got goosebumps when I came out where Gary was still. I just happened to look up and that's the hatch to the attic. And I got, my, I got a chill, didn't I? Yeah. Mm. Go on, if there's anyone in the loft... I think it's here. If anything's here, it's up in there. Move around upstairs in the loft. Can we hear footsteps? Can you bang on the ceiling or the floor as it is for you? I can smell perfume now. Perfume? Yeah. Come here, baby. Is it me? Come here. Hello. This is just my imagination. Ooh. Is it just me? There. That's not my jacket, is it? No. Can you smell it? It's like a, like a perfume smell. I guess, just come here, I can smell like perfume or something. How do you feel stood there? Seriously? A little bit dizzy, actually. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little what, bit See, light. that's where John was and Gary was, who felt... And I got goosebumps when I came out of that room when I was talking to you, and now I can smell. Per it almost makes me feel a little bit like... Like, unsteady. I don't feel steady sort of standing here. I don't now, it's funny, though, because no, before when we had the live come on, mm -hmm. yeah. somebody said, have you had anything in the attic? Did they? Yeah, but there's no way I'm going up there. <laughs> no way at all. Well, the you temperature's just there, dropped though. a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Just feel a bit cold. Not goosebump, but like a little bit cooler. But I've been saying sort of all night that when I was sat in there, I wanted it to come in from sort of being on the line. Just We've all just had a little bit of sleep. Um, yeah, it's been quiet. We didn't really get anything while we were asleep. To be honest, I stopped with Amy down in the living room. I think um, Gary went into Diane's room and I went, um, John stayed in Philip's room, but nothing happened. I didn't sleep, we just shut our eyes for, for an hour or so and just see if anything happened, but it was quiet to be honest. So yeah, it's been a quiet night. <laughs> Very quiet night.